Here is the last part of our story. Chapter 10, The Night Visitor. I just don't know what to do with him, Granddad. Ellie sighed as she watched <coughs> my school go investigate Granddad's yard. She brought him over for some advice. Granddad had Dad had kept Frida shut in Frida shut inside. Ellie wasn't sure as Rascal was was ready to meet another cat yet. What's he been up to? Granddad asked her. We took him for his first walk yesterday in the park. Ellie went red. He was really naughty. She told Granddad all about the pond incident, which made him laugh. Isn't it normal? Oh, it's the dog who gets all. All wet and muddy on the walk and not his owner, he joked. I'm just taking him out later again with Christy. I just hope he's better behaved. Everybody's been getting a little grumpy of him, Ellie said finally. He even ate one of Dad's slippers when we got home from the walk. Look, didn't you scold him, Granddad asked. Ellie nodded. Well, Dad did, but I'm not very good at scolding but if Rascal doesn't think he's your dad's dog, Ellie. Oh, I see what you mean, Granddad smiled. If you're going to get all the lobbing calls, then you need to do all the hard stuff, too. And I just don't need falling in ponds, Ellie, Billy. You need to be the one who can teach Rascal how to behave. Ellie watched Rascal trying to sneak up on a butterfly. He was so cute, but if he kept on being naughty, he'd be a terror when he was a grown-up dog. So it was a big responsibility. This is going to be so cool. Christy beamed as she opened the the front door to and went to untie Bowser's leash from the gate. Ellie not. I know, but let's not go anywhere like the, like the, near the pond, pond, I still smell like mud and I had two baths since yesterday, come on rascal, he patted out the front gate looking very sharp in his red collar and leash, dad had gotten the little bone shaped dog tag a late Engraved with Rascal's name and their phone number. Wow, he's so tiny and Bouncer's so huge, Jelly laughed. <laughs> As Rascal sniffed Bouncer interestingly. Oh, Rascal, don't sniff his bottom. Um, that's a little rude. Bouncer sniffed Rascal back and then gave him a friendly lick. His tongue covered Rascal's whole head, and Rascal gave a confused sneeze. Choo! He wowed a sharp, angry bark, Rawr! and Bouncer stepped back, his tail between his legs. Christy burst out laughing. <laughs> Bouncer, you can't be scared of Rascal. You're ten times bigger than the little guy. Bouncer lay down with his nose on the sidewalk, his tail wagging. And Rascal gave the bigger dog's nose an improving lick, and then they sat up down on the road together. If Ellie and Christy smiled at each other, it looked like Bouncer and Rascal had worked things out for themselves. If Ellie ended up carrying Rascal most of the way to the park since she kept he kept getting tangled up in his leash. Has he done anything else awful lately? Chrissy asked as they approached the park gates. No? Well, he did chew my sketchbook this morning, but only the edges, she... A minute. I tried to scold like Granddad said. It's really hard, and he looked so upset. He'll turn to a monster if you never discipline him. Chrissy shook her head. I know. I really tried. Oh, the stern voice and everything. Honestly, Ellie sighed. But he just gives me this really sad look. So I guess I just gotta try harder, I suppose.
That night, Ellie lay in her bed, smiling sleepy to herself. She loved walking with Christy and Bouncer and Rascal. It was so much fun now that she had her own dog, even though he barked at every dog they walked past and tried to climb a tree, chasing after a squirrel that was almost bigger than he was. There was a gentle scratching at her bedroom door. Suddenly, it swung open. Ellie sat up. Up, her half asleep brain sinking of ghosts and her heart flooding. But there was no light, but that light little shape was no ghost. It was a puppy. Rascal, how did you open, open the kitchen door? Ellie whispered. Did Dad not shut it all the way? Rascal put her paw, his paws on the side of her bed and looked at her hopefully. Ellie looked at him up. We'll get in trouble if Mom finds out, so shh. Rascal scrambled happily down the bed and curled up on Ellie's feet. He felt like a hot, heavy water bottle. Ellie sighed happily and snuggled down under her covers. Her own little dog sleeping on her bed. It was exactly what she dreamed of. Sometimes... I'm glad you're really naughty, she whispered and drifting off to sleep, reminding herself to brush all the dog hairs off her comforter in the morning. The end. That was a fun story, and it was really, really easy. Didn't take as long as most of my stories do. And here's the next story. Cutie Corns. Heart of Gold, coming March 30th.